100 tips for a dead end line. Let's go. You can restore some amount of dead eye bar by making an explosion. So throw a dynamite or shoot explosive barrels that, for example, you can find in a call to arms mode, then you will restore some dead eye. Take cover to regenerate health much faster. It will be extremely helpful on lower levels or when you run out of health tonics. You can avoid crashing into trees with this simple trick. When riding through a forest, only press acceleration button. Don't touch left stick on the controller or W on keyboard. This way you will be riding forward, but your horse will avoid every single tree on your way. Complete missions in exactly 9 or 12 minutes to receive maximum amount of money, gold and experience per minute. Time starts right after mission begins. It doesn't matter if you have a timer here or not. If you want to make an unusual screenshot or just enjoy the beautiful world of Red Dead Online, you might find sightseeing locations where you can sit on the cliff or on the edge of a bridge. There are a lot of such locations in Red Dead Online, but they are really hard to find. You need to be really close to receive this option to sit down. However, there is an interactive Red Dead Online map, link in the description, on which you can see all these sightseeing locations. If you're still watching, please count how many out of these 100 tips you knew before seeing this video and let me know in the comments. Thanks in advance. Next tip, you can revive your horse even if you don't have a horse reviver. To do so, just call your wagon, doesn't matter if it's hunting or bounty hunter wagon, and then immediately dismiss it. After that, just call your horse and it should be fine. You can find the free beer in your camp right here, and also three snacks in pretty much every saloon in Red Dead Online. This can be useful for completing some daily challenges. If you will shoot your elephant rifle while crouching, it will knock you down. I have no idea in which situation this tip can actually help you, but it's fun thing to do. Activating slow and steady ability card while mounted will make your horse absolutely fearless. You see, your horse cannot run while you have slow and steady active and therefore it cannot throw you off. This way you can safely hunt dangerous predators like cougars or bears. When you're swimming or shooting, your weapon gets dirty. You can see the condition of your weapon here. When condition is low, damage, fire rate and reload speed will be decreased. So don't forget to buy gun oil and use it to clean your weapons and restore the condition. You can go to gunsmith and buy rubs for your weapons. It's not only cosmetics. It actually will make your weapons to lose condition on a slower rate. By the way, it doesn't matter which rubs you will be using, leather or clothing. They have exactly the same effect. Unlike rubs, bandoliers are pure cosmetics. They don't increase your ammo capacity and have no benefits at all, so don't waste your money on bandoliers unless you like how they look. Speaking about wasting money and gold, be extremely careful when customizing your weapons. A lot of players don't know about it, but you don't unlock some specific metal for your weapon forever. So if you will spend a lot of gold on making your weapon golden and then will decide to change to some different color, you will not be able to go back to golden weapon for free, you will have to buy it again. By the way, it works exactly the same with haircuts and facial hair styles, so be careful because some of them are pretty expensive. Craft and eat minty big game meat. It will give you fortified health status, so you will have more health and higher health regeneration rate. To craft it, you will need big game meat that you can get from alligators and other big animals, and mint that you can find pretty much everywhere. By the way, if you want to get more pieces of meat from an animal, you need to make clean kills, which means not to ruin pelt and carcass quality. And you can do it by killing an animal with one hatchet and using appropriate weapon. For example, with alligators we need to use rifles. So if we will kill alligator with shotgun or tomahawk, we will receive 3 pieces of meat. And if we will make a clean kill, we will get 5 pieces of meat. You can cook food or craft tonics not only by using a campfire at your camp. There are a lot of campfires on the map that you can use, so keep an eye on them or again use interactive Red Dead Online map to find out about their locations. Sometimes you will have a daily challenge to cook fish, but it's not enough to catch fish, you also need to get a fish meat. To do it, open your bag, go to materials, find the fish and break it down. You can also break down smaller birds, squirrels and even crabs. Activate defensive mode if you're not planning to attack other players. It will 
will protect you from low level griefers because defensive mode disables auto aim, headshots, melee weapons including lasso for both you and the attacker. Also you will be getting less damage, however high level griefers still will be able to kill you. Next tip will help you when you make a long distance delivery for a trader role and got attacked by other players or just simply break your wagon for some other reason. Simply open menu, choose online and switch lobby. When you will appear in a new lobby, you will see that your goods are still there and you can make another delivery. By the way, when you need the supplies for a trader role production, you can order supplies and instead of waiting for 10 minutes until they will arrive, you can simply switch lobby and they will be delivered. After purchasing trader role, buy a stew pot for your camp. With help of it, you will be able to craft a special stew, which not only fortifies all your statuses at once, but also gives you passive dead eye regeneration. After reaching level 25, go to gunsmith and purchase any holster. It will allow you to use two one-handed weapons at the same time. If you want to increase the effectiveness of your pistols or revolvers, I suggest you to buy an upgrade ability card called Gunslinger's Choice. It not only increases the accuracy of your dual wielding weapons, but also gives additional damage. It's especially effective if you are using semi-automatic pistols or high roller revolvers. Buy a dog for your camp, because it's not only cosmetics like most players think. Dog actually can help you during one pretty rare event. So if you have a trader role and you lower the flag in your camp, I don't know why would you do this, but anyway, sometimes NPCs can attack your camp and will try to steal goods from creeps. And if you have a dog, it will warn you and it doesn't matter how far you are from your camp at that moment. Anyway, you will be able to teleport back to your camp and fight these NPCs. If you don't have a dog, you will miss this extremely rare event. Each month there is a free community outfit in Red Dead Online. You need to get each item of this outfit separately from Keflok. You don't have to pay anything, you just need to claim it, but sometimes this option will not be available because you're not matching the level requirement. In this case, choose an option to buy item with gold, even if you don't have gold, and you will be able to buy it for free. Make sure that your character always has an overweight. This way you will be receiving less damage. Do not lose weight, just make sure that you eat in food every time when your health status is not full. For PvP, buy an upgrade never without one ability card. With this ability card, your hat will block one headshot. It actually only protects upper side of your head from the nose and higher, but still it will save you many many times. When resting by the fire at your camp, you can throw some Hariatum Officinalis in a campfire and you will see this ghost deer. Hariatum Officinalis is a flower that you can find pretty much everywhere, but you need naturalist troll. Do not forget to reset your awards. Some awards can be reset up to 10 times and each time for resetting such award you will be getting 0.4 gold bars. It doesn't matter if you're fighting other players, NPCs or hunting animals, always aim for the headshot, because headshots are dealing much more damage. Anyway, ability card called Painted Black will help you to make headshots much more often. Improve the bonding level of your horse. You can simply do it by riding and feeding your horse. There are totally 4 bonding levels and with each level your horse learns new tricks and the most importantly stats of your horse are improving. You can check if you are in stealth by simply looking at the minimap. If your icon is grey, it means that enemies are not aware of your presence and when it becomes white it means that you were spotted and you no longer in stealth. Buy wilderness camp from Harriet if you have a naturalist role. It will allow you to craft food and tonics pretty much everywhere but also if you will purchase pretty expensive pamphlet at fans you will be able to fast travel from your wilderness camp and by the way fast travel from wilderness camp to your regular camp will always cost only one dollar. Use autopilot when driving any type of a wagon. Just place a mark on a map, then aim and press acceleration button twice. Your wagon will start moving automatically and will be driving to the chosen location as long as you keep in the aim. Don't forget to loot enemies even on a higher levels, because yes, you will find very small amount of money in their pockets, but quite often you will be finding collectible items for a collector role and sometimes you will even find treasure maps. You can go AFK and not be kicked from the game by
by opening Catholic. You can do it pretty much everywhere except some activities like legendary bounty missions. Use a hip fire technique to shoot much faster. To do so, just press the fire button without aiming. All weapons have a much higher fire rate when hip firing, and you can even use auto aim while hip firing. Speaking about auto aim, if you're playing on a PC, don't forget to turn it off. Yes, even if you don't have a controller, you still have to go to settings, controls, choose controller, and change lock on mode to free aim. This way, you will be receiving much more experience for each kill. Buy a fast travel post for your camp. Yes, you can fast travel to your camp without it, but it will allow you to fast travel from your camp, which is extremely useful. Don't forget to feed your horse, and the best food for your horse is hay. It's super cheap, you can get it in stables. But please don't buy this fancy food for your horse, because it's bugged and in some cases it will make your horse lose stamina much faster. Level up your ability cards to get the maximum effect. You need to earn 10,000 experience points with ability card equipped to upgrade it to level 2, and 15 more thousand experience points to upgrade it to level 3. And there is a small trick, just equip ability cards that you want to upgrade before selling full collections to Madame Nazaro making a trader or moonshine roll delivery, because experience for such activities also counts. Turn on expanded minimap in settings or just in game by pressing arrow down on your controller. Or turn it off if you're looking for more immersive gameplay. Buy collector's saddlebag as it's the only saddlebag that lets you carry 5 outfits on your horse. Sell full sets of collectible items to Madame Nazar faster by simply going to a post office and choosing send mail option. You obviously need a collector role to do so, but you don't need a collector role to stop gathering collectible items. And it's our next tip, start gathering collectible items even before purchasing the role, because you will be earning a lot of experience for picking up collectibles and later, when you will purchase the role, you will just sell them to Madame Nazar and earn a lot of money as well. You can pick only some types like tarot cards or flowers and to find them use interactive Red Dead Online collector's map. Buy a shotgun as soon as you can, and the best choice for beginners will be a pump action shotgun. Shotguns will make fighting NPCs much easier, but make sure that you only use in shotgun on a 15 steps range or closer. Skip weapon will and open menu with tonics immediately by pressing RB and LB at the same time, or R1 plus L1 on PlayStation. You can restore some amount of horse stamina by pressing left stick on your controller or G button on a keyboard. This ability has a cooldown of 18 seconds and only available if your horse has a higher bonding level. More advanced tip, you can also restore stamina for your horse even in the water, which basically turns your horse into a bot. So first time you restore stamina as usual, but then after 18 seconds cooldown, what you need to do is a press stop button RBR1 and only then press a left stick. Use revolvers for fighting NPCs as they have higher ammo capacity and pistols for PvP, so fighting other players. As for sword of shotguns, you can use them in both PvP and PvE. You can buy herbs required to craft tonics from Madame Nazar if you have a collector role. And yes, buy special health cure pamphlet at fence as soon as you can because it's the best tonic in the game, it gives you a lot of health and with it you will have a huge advantage in PvP. If you play in Red Dead Online every day, complete at least one daily challenge to get a daily challenge streak. After completing at least one daily challenge for 7 days in a row, your payout will increase. After 14 days it will get even bigger and after 21 day you will start receiving maximum payout. Unfortunately, after 28 days it will reset. Buy the best tier ups you can, because it's the most important thing if you want your horse to never run out of stamina. And yes, buy the best saddle as well, which is Nekodochus, Upland on a second place, but to be honest you can buy pretty much any saddle you like and with good steer ups it will be fine. Do not reload your weapons, especially if they have a slow reload, like all the revolvers have or most repeaters. Instead, when you're running out of ammo, just switch weapon, and after 10 seconds you can switch back to your weapon and it will be fully reloaded. After buying a bounty hunter role, try to purchase prestigious bounty hunter license as soon as you can. It will give you access to much better missions, infamous bounties, and also to 10 additional
additional levels with rewards but the most importantly after reaching level 30 you will unlock this award that can be reset infinite amount of times and each time you will be getting half of a gold bar so it's additional way to earn gold if you need to hunt some specific animal for daily challenge or catch some specific fish you can find them with help of interactive red dead online's map and yes i know i mentioned this resource many times already but it's just super useful if you want to carry more regular ammo you can purchase pretty expensive pamphlets at fans for each weapon type so you need to buy one for pistols one for rifles one for shotguns and so on but it will allow you to carry twice more regular ammo buy an upgrade fool me once ability card because it's one of the few ability cards that are equally good in both pvp and pve fool me once will significantly decrease amount of damage that you're taking in a tough fight buy reinforced lasso it will not only help you with bounty hunter role since it takes more time for bounties to untie themselves but also it's much more effective in pvp than regular lasso choose proper ability card setup for each activity for example for pve it's better to have ability cards that will restore your health and the die like strange medicine cold blooded or eye for an eye and for pvp you want to have extra damage or damage reduction sharpshooter never without one peak condition and so on you can buy items from Keflog in your social club account this tip will be extremely useful when there is some good discount that you don't want to miss out but you don't have time to play right now when using improved bow you can mark targets with painted black from insane distances it will help you when fighting npcs and hunting and even in pvp because yes improved bow does much less damage than regular bow to other players but you always can use dynamite arrow when grinding a bounty hunter roll deliver bounty targets alive this way you will receive twice more money and experience but not gold gold is the same and by the way to make sure that bounty targets will not run away knock them out to do so tie them up and then standing close to them and holding lasso in your hands press a fire button to kick them until you will see such message winning streak ability card can give you up to 100 percent damage increase it's much more than any other ability card can give you but to receive such huge bonus you need to land nine shots in a row each consecutive shot increases your damage by 10 percent but if you miss one you lose all the bonus to start making some real money with help of trader role you need to reach level 10 in this role and purchase large delivery wagon tip for beginners avoid pvp because higher levels will have huge advantage over you because they have ability cards better weapons and powerful tonics the only option is hardcore pvp series that sometimes can be found in a featured pvp series there is no auto aim ability cards or tonics everyone uses the same weapons so it's only about skill buy bounty hunter wagon not only to deliver multiple bounty targets easier but also because you can get on the top of your bounty hunter wagon and get to some locations that are not available otherwise you can get a pretty good revolver in red dead online for free if you play gta online from the same account complete the mission with the maniac in gta online then travel here close to valentine and in the basement on the table you will find a box with low risk revolver inside it's basically a navy revolver but with different skin if you want maximum accuracy use scopes or painted black ability card choose horse for each activity if you have multiple horses obviously open left menu go to horses and here in specialization for each activity choose a horse that you want to use by default buy this pamphlet at fence if you want to cook three pieces of meat at once just don't forget to choose quantity when you will be cooking use express ammo in pvp because it will give you the maximum damage except for explosive ammo that you need to craft when traveling keep an eye on such npcs sometimes they will offer you to buy treasure map for five dollars and other times they will just start shooting and you will just loot treasure map from their body if you're playing with the controller go to settings controls and change hold to real fishing from off to on this will make fishing much easier and enjoyable always check monthly bonuses and payouts because there will be double or even triple payouts for different activities or roles and it's probably will be the most effective way of grinding this month carcano sniper rifle is the best weapon choice for most activities in the game so definitely 
definitely buy it as soon as you can, but you will need to practice, because with sniper rifles you cannot use auto-aim or painted black ability card. And if you're using a sniper rifle or any scoped weapon, sharpshooter ability card is a must-have, as it gives you extra damage and damage reduction at the same time when you're using a scope. You can use eagle eye while sprinting or galloping, but you need to buy bounty hunter roll and level it up to level 7 to unlock this ability. By the way, activate eagle eye while holding a fishing rod and you will see all the fish. Use woman rifle or small game arrow to get collectible bird eggs from the trees. You can put weapons that you never use into a weapon locker. You can buy it for your camp from creeps if you have a trader roll. Buy a shovel and a metal detector from Madame Nazar as soon as you can, because you need these tools to find the most valuable collectible items. When buying a moonshiner roll, choose Bayon Wa as a location for your moonshine shack. There will be easiest and fastest moonshine deliveries. By the way, if you have a moonshine shack in Bayon Wa, after setting up moonshine production, simply open left menu, go to online options and choose respawn, and you will appear close to the fast travel. If you have a bounty on your head, remove it for half of the price at your camp or at post office. Because if you have a $10 bounty, annoying bounty hunter NPCs will start chasing you. And even with lower bounty on your head, you will become a target for players with bounty hunter roll. If you have a naturalist roll, buy a ram horn trinket from gas. I should rather say craft because you need not only money but also some ingredients, but this item will let you to pick up twice more important herbs, including wild mint. And remember, we need mint to craft the best food in the game. Buy a deluxe campfire. It's not only cosmetics that looks differently and provides additional seeds, but also it speeds up crafting when you do it in your camp. You can get a horse lantern if you want to look differently during the night time, but also griefers will see you from bigger distances. Anyway, at stables you need to go to settings of your saddle and there purchase lantern for $350. It's applied to a specific saddle, not to a specific horse, and you cannot turn it off. Mark multiple targets with painted black ability card at the same time to kill them extremely fast. Level up your weapons. Yes, you can level up weapons in Red Dead Online. There is a hidden parameter called weapon familiarity. The only way to check it is to take a look at the reload speed parameter. If your weapon is clean but there is still a gray area, it means that you haven't leveled up this weapon yet. Usually it takes around 200 kills to reach maximum weapon familiarity. Go chop wood to make cool screenshots or just because it's fun and relaxing. You can only do it on this ranch near roads close to the big building. Complete moonshine are all story. It's not only interesting story, but also it will decrease the much price for your moonshine production. Sometimes you will see players who have this blurry look and it's super hard to hit them. It's because they're using ability card Slippery Bastard, which decreases accuracy for you and for them. But you can counter Slippery Bastard by using scoped weapon, bow or throwables like Tomahawk. You can craft ammo everywhere, just open item wheel and choose mortar and pestle. As you can see, you cannot craft food or tonics, but you can craft ammo. Place one animal carcass on your horse and drag second with help of lasso. You will not ruin carcass quality this way. Another easy way to get a lot of materials for your trader roll production is to buy a naturalist roll and complete legendary animal missions that you can take from Harriet, but instead of sedating animals, just kill them and deliver carcasses or pelts to creeps. You will receive a lot of materials. And the last tip is the most important one. Remember, Red Dead Online is just a game, so enjoy it and have fun. Don't take it too seriously. And if you want to find more about the history of Red Dead Online, go check the video that you can see on your screen now. With that being said, stay safe, stay healthy, goodbye.